I'm very pleased to be seated next to Elliot Connie, and Elliot's been, um, been become a star of our community, <laughs> an absolute star, and you've done some amazing things. So could you just tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Yeah. And how you ended up here? <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, by trade, I'm a psychotherapist, and I do something called solution-focused brief therapy. And, you know, when I was in graduate school, I had such a burning desire to help people. I had such a burning desire to make a difference in people's lives. And I, I thought the best way to do that was to uh, open a practice. So I opened a therapy practice and had a really successful therapy practice. It was full for many, many years. But I realized I'm only helping the people in my local area that could like drive to me. And it started making me think of how do I expand and make a difference to more people. And eventually I got interested in online stuff because online stuff can go any and everywhere. And you and I have a mutual friend, Bill O'Hanlon, and um, he introduced me to the launch world and then eventually introduced me to you and uh, your work and your training material. Actually, he didn't introduce me to you, he introduced me to your training material. And I started using that material to um, launch my, my training courses and it completely transformed my business and, and my life and my lifestyle. <laughs> So you were just talking about, so you've gone deep. We've talked, we, this isn't our first time talking. No. We've gotten to know each other pretty well. And, and you went really deep and, and you know, you're, you're, you have a history as an athlete. Yep. You know how to train, you know how to focus. And you said, I'm going to go really deep on this. You, you just went to school yeah. on marketing because you're a psychotherapist. You're not a marketer. No. You're not a salesperson. No. None of that stuff came natural. No. And it, you know, I, and I want to say, like, I really honestly want to make a difference in people's lives. And, and, and training psychotherapists to be more confident, to be more skilled, to be more proficient is a way to, like, help their clients through them. But I was really, like, bad at it at first. Like, getting, getting them to kind of buy into me and buy into themselves. And um, it, I just wasn't good at it. And in order to fulfill my purpose, and my calling, I had to figure out a way. And you're right, I treated it just like mastering any skill. I often refer to it as the launch lab. Like I went into the launch lab and, and um, worked at it until I thought I could do a good job of conveying to people the value in the material, the transformation they would experience from taking the material. And then in my case, the transformation their client would experience from seeing a psychotherapist and seeing a, a, a professional that was really confident and really competent and like once I got good at that, like it just completely blew everything out of the water. So we were just talking, and, and first I just I've said this to you before. I I'm just going to say to the camera, is I get to work with and meet a lot of amazing people. Your your inner game, and you know we talk a lot of, in our community about the difference between inner game and outer game. And outer game is like how to write an email or how to you know put together your pre-launch. But the inner game is like. The, your, what, what you're saying to yourself mm. and your inner game is just on point at a level of very, very few people I've ever met. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's, it's been extraordinary. And we, but we were just talking about your first launch. And, <laughs> and let's talk about Yeah. <laughs> we like, one of my first launches, we were literally just talking about this. Um, you know, launching is a real kind of psychological, you know, battlefield almost at times. And, you know, uh, you, you read this book and you see, read these case studies and you're like, man, when I launch, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like, get a million dollars. And you write down the first 10 things you're going to buy. I'm going to buy a Ferrari and I'm going to buy my mama house and I'm going to buy you know, like a fortress and, you know, all these things. And um, I went ahead and I did the launch and uh, I made $38,000 in, in five days. And I was so gutted, man. I was so disappointed. And I called my, my friend and, um, and colleague, you know, and mentor, Bill O'Hanlon, and I... He could hear it in me, like I was devastated. Like, Bill, I, I didn't make Ferrari money. You know, I, I made $38,000. And Bill kind of slapped me back to reality. And he said, Ellie, when was the last time you made $38,000 in a week? And I said, never. And he said, then enjoy this. So, okay, good point. <laughs> like, good, I'll enjoy this. <laughs> you know, he's like, you know, a lot of people don't make $38,000 in a year. And you just figured out a way how to do it in five days. And it kind of reset my, my mind and kind of reoriented me to what the purpose of this all is. Can you talk a little bit about what it's been like to be someone who is, you know, 
a successful psychotherapist, but no experience in, in selling stuff. Yeah, it's scary. I mean, it really is scary because, um, you know, people don't like to be sold things. So when you are bad at it, and as admittedly I was bad at it, as evidenced by the outcomes I was getting early on, um, people say really harsh things. You know, they reply to your emails like, why are you selling, and I don't like this, and I don't appreciate this, and, and you, you, it's so hard to hear that kind of feedback, and you take it on because you realize, like, I'm not... I'm, I'm trying really hard to convey value to you. I'm trying really hard to, to show you like what could happen. I believe in what I'm teaching. Like I genuinely believe in what I'm teaching, but I'm, I'm, I wasn't doing a great job of, of conveying to people the value in it and the impact it could have on their life. And it was, it was really scary. But I mean, you didn't ask us and I'll tell you this. I, I will tell you this moment. I will never forget this moment. Uh, before the pandemic, I traveled a lot. Like I was on the road uh, two to three weeks out of the year. And um, one of the ways that I worked at this was I wanted to do webinars because I enjoyed teaching and it gave me the opportunity to practice making an offer to a live audience. And uh, it was really hard. Like, Jeff, you asked, what's it like? It's hard. It's scary and it's hard because you're getting feedback that's not warm and cuddly all the time. But the moment I'll never forget, and you didn't ask this, so I hope it's okay to share this, but uh, I remember doing a webinar, I was in Canada and I was sitting at my laptop in this hotel and. I had done several webinars and I'm really excited because I'm giving people value for free and, and, I, and I know it was impacting their lives because they would send me emails saying like your free webinar was amazing, uh, but I didn't appreciate the, you know, that kind of stuff. And then I did this one webinar and we had about, I don't know, 500 people signed up for the webinar. And we get to the end and I make the offer and 120 people bought. And there were no negative responses. And there was no, there, there was no like, you know, crazy emails. It was just people saying they appreciated it. And then, so not only that, there was a financial reward for that. And there was a, a kind of heart reward for that, that like 120 people are going to become better at solution focused brief therapy, which means if all 120 people see 20 clients, that means, you know, 200, whatever the number is of clients has gone bad at math, but whatever the number of clients, 2,400 clients are going to get better. So there's like a heart reward for it. But then over the course of the next two or three weeks, I got emails from people saying like, thank you so much. And I worked with this couple and helped them stay together. And I worked with this teenager who's gotten off drugs. And it's like, wow. And, and I, that was the moment I think I realized I connected the importance and the ability to um, make an offer in a way that people could buy into it and change their life. And, and it switched for me. Like I realized like, okay, now I know how, how to do this. And so the, it's hard until it isn't. And then it's unbelievably rewarding. Mm -hmm. I think I've heard you say that something along the lines of you, you earn the right yeah. to make an offer. Yeah, I, I think, I think you have to earn the right to make an offer to people. Um, and like in our world, we do a lot of free training and I've often heard you say, uh, the very best training in the marketing field is PLF and the second best training is the free series that you do. And by, by giving people free content, and, and I wanna live my life to where every person whom I cross paths with is better for having crossed my path. That's genuinely my goal in life. I'm not purpose, I fail occasionally, but that's honestly, I want everybody with whom I interact with to be better for having interact with me. And that includes the people who sign up for my free events. And when you take that attitude, like whether you're gonna buy or not, I wanna give you a transformational experience that you can take into your life and make a difference. In my case, like a psychotherapist, you can take it into your clinical room and make a difference. And if I can successfully do that, then I've earned the right to say, and if any of you wanna go deeper and, and get personal coaching from me or an in-depth coach uh, training experience or whatever, I've earned that right because I've shared my heart with them. I've shared my true genuine desire that I want you to be better from having interacted with me. And once you do that, people will allow you to extend even more, right? And I, and I you know, you and I were talking earlier and I was saying that, um, 
you know, there are tactics and strategies, but there's a heart in this work too. And if you can show up with your heart while doing those tactics and strategies that are, that are taught in the PLF world, uh, you earn the right to extend even further into people's lives because they trust you're doing it for a good reason and they trust that you're doing it with integrity and they trust that if they allow you to extend into their lives, their lives will be even better because to the level you've already impacted their life has made their life better. Mm. So I know some of the behind the scenes numbers and I know that, um, that $38,000 was just the start. Yeah. Can you just talk a little bit about how your business has grown? Yeah, my, my business has grown, it's grown quite a bit. So um, last year we had our first million dollar year. Um, this year we're already right at a million dollars with several months to go in the year. Uh, but it's interesting, like me and my team, we don't, we don't, I mean, of course we talk about money, but like, the central part of what we talk about more often is the number of people that are going through our trainings. Because when you, when you have that level of increase in revenue, that means you also have that level of increase in audience. And um, gosh, you should see my inbox. Like I have people emailing me the most touching, amazing things. And for me, like, you can't have the million without the audience that's appreciative of what they've gotten mm -hmm. from you. So my business has exploded, but it's also filled my, my heart and life with, with joy. Like I, it fills my bank account and it fills my, my heart and life with joy. And the two things are very much interconnected. And now you're just about to embark on a, an exciting new chapter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So up till now, Elliot, it, his, his audience has been psychotherapists and yep. helping psychotherapists become better psychotherapists yep. and learn this solution-focused brief therapy mm. and impact their, their clients. Um, so where are we going now? <laughs> so now, you know, the, the job of psychotherapist is an amazing job. I get to watch people like rediscover themselves in my office. Uh, but it's incredibly private. It, it happens in my office, behind closed doors, no cameras, no audience, no... And you, you watch people that have gone through things that, like, you can't imagine. Like, the stories I've heard people share, you can't imagine. And in my office, you watch them transform and become what I refer to as a hero in their life. They, they tap into their hero qualities, and they become way more than they ever thought they could be. And at some point, I, I became not just passionate, but like on fire about wanting everyone to have that experience. So, um, you know, I, after some thoughts and prayer and thinking and meditation and talks with people like you, I decided to kind of lean into that and, and um, beginning to make content for people about, you know, one of the things that we all experience is we all get knocked down. Like none of us are going to get through this life without being knocked down. And I want to help people realize that you're capable of getting back up and moving forward in a way that's even grander than you were moving before you got knocked, get knocked down. So uh, as we're shifting from just talking to psychotherapists to talking to everybody and helping them all realize that um, there's a magic in you um, that once you get knocked down, you can tap into that magic and um, live a life that's beyond what you thought even pre being knocked down. And it's really exciting and amazing and scary and all these things, but it's, it's where I have to go because that's just where my heart is leading me right now. And if you know me, you know, I, uh, I follow what my heart leads me towards. So uh, just a few minutes ago, Elliot interviewed me for for his video series. And you kept on asking me hard questions, so I'm gonna ask you a hard question. <laughs> Um, so in June, just a few months ago, you came to our mastermind meeting and you had, you had genuine, is trepidation a good word? Yeah, yeah, sure. For Trep sure. Trepidation about, about sharing this vision and asking uh, the question about, about can, what do you think of this? Can I do this? And this is what I want to do. Am I crazy or what should I, how should I do it? Yep. Could you talk a little bit about that trepidation? Yeah, you know, the hardest thing anyone can ever tell someone 
is what they want to achieve. Because the most common response you get when you tell someone what you want to achieve is a response that comes from the listener's limitations. So when you tell someone what you want to achieve, the most common response is a response of doubt, is a response of doubt in you, is a response. So it's really scary to say out loud, uh, hey Jeff, I want to I want to change the world. I want to I want to inspire like every human being walking on the planet. I want to let everybody know that just because you get knocked down, you actually become stronger from getting back up. Like I want I want everybody and and you're so you brace yourself. Like now that I've said it out loud, I'm going to get told how hard it is and how impossible it is and you're too young or too old, you're too this or too that. Um, so it's a really, really scary thing to say out loud. Like, it's the scariest thing you could ever say is what your, what your heart truly wants. We hold that tight because we don't like for people to, to, to squish them. And I was definitely afraid that if I say this out loud, but it was on my mind and heart. I, I think I texted, like we were texting about it and you were like, you're gonna say this and you should say it today. It was not an easy thing for sure. It's hard to say those things that your heart is most desiring because people are going to tell you why you can't do it. And that's a difficult thing to hear. That's not what happened in that room. That's not what happened in that room, no. <laughs> no, no, this is a room I, I found. This was a room of really amazing, supportive people. Um, and it was, a, it was a moment I'll remember for the rest of my life. But, um, but that's what you fear. You know, you fear being told what your limitations are. Yeah, no, you... You don't, uh, there, there aren't any, I'm not seeing any limitations for you on this path right now. Maybe, maybe they're going to come soon. But um, yeah, I, I'm very excited uh, to see someone who just has the, the chops you've got and has, has already impacted so many psychotherapists and you're going to be able to, to, you know, there's a lot of people out there telling people how to live their lives and how to live better right. lives. And, and sometimes I slip into that myself, but uh, so, someone who's got the chops that you've got and experience, yeah. looking forward to it. So what's the next step? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it too. The next step, well, first of all, there's like a super secret big deal next step that is in the, in the works um, that I'm not gonna say here, but let's just say it's potentially a really big deal. Uh, and the other next steps is uh, I'm gonna be publishing content that is designed to inspire everybody. Like I'm gonna be publishing content on my website, my YouTube channel and social media pro, uh, platforms. Um, that's not just about psychotherapists, but I'm, I'm really honestly, you know what I want honestly the next step? E even like the super secret big deal thing. I want people to watch my content wherever it is they see it and say, I think I'm capable of doing something bigger than I thought. Mm. That's what I want. I want, I want people to, visit my social media platforms, my YouTube channel, website, and beyond, and, and consume something, and be a bit better and believe in themselves a bit more, regardless of what they had, what they had been through. So that's the next step for me. You know, in my, uh, in my uh, boy, as a professional uh, coach, really, someone who's coached so many people, like what you just said, with 99.9% .9 of the people, I'd say don't do that because it's like you want to help everyone be empowered to, to know that they can get back. But, but you, I think, can do it. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. And I just said that publicly. I've said that to you. <laughs> I've said that to you many times. You have privately absolutely. You absolutely. Because have. Um, there are not very many folks like you around. Hmm. Um, so I am looking forward to this. Where can people find that content? Where are some of the channels? You know, go find me on on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Elliot Speaks. You can find my website, uh, ElliotConnie.com. Two L's and two T's, by the way. Uh, ElliotConnie.com. And, um, and two N's. <laughs> yeah, two N's. Connie with two N's. And um, hopefully pretty soon you'll be able to find me in some other places too. Elliot, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having I'm, me, Jeff. I'm looking forward to this Th next chapter. Thanks for having me and, and thanks for being the opposite of what people usually experience when they tell you tell people what they want. I got a very different response and it's sent me on this trajectory already. I can't wait to see it. Thanks, man. I'm supposed to say, I always end these videos with, hey, let's go get him this week. Go check out Elliot's, uh, Elliot's stuff, it's fantastic. 
He knows what he's talking about. He can, he can move mountains. Go check out Elliot and let's go get him this week.